few zealots are as fervent as those who debate digital audio versus vinyl records. Which one really is better? I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that gives you the real facts behind popular myths. Proponents of digital audio say it's a more accurate reproduction with better frequency range, while vinyl fans say the sound is simply warmer, richer, and better. But here's the reason why the entire debate should be moot. Whether the music is stored on vinyl or a CD is just not that important a part of the overall system. It's like deciding which of two different cars is best by comparing their spark plug wires. There are many variables in the process of playing recorded music that affect the sound, from the microphones to the mixing, the mastering, the playback hardware, the amplifier, and far and away the most important, the quality of the speakers and characteristics of the listening room. Whether the recording was vinyl or CD is simply not one of these important variables. Both methods are easily far superior to any differences the human ear might hope to distinguish. But I know you still want to hear which one's better, so what do people prefer in testing? Well, it's difficult to do comparisons because music recordings are mastered differently. Engineers will make a new master designed for the intended medium. The separate instrument tracks might be individually equalized, spread across the stereo spectrum, or have a dozen other parameters applied. Thus, a CD and a vinyl pressing of the exact same recorded performance are likely to be very different. Nevertheless, in 2000, the Bulletin of the Council for Research and Music Education published results for the best comparison they could manage. Digital and analog recordings of the same concert performance recorded unequalized and unmixed, especially for this test. Results showed that music major listeners rated the digital versions of live concert recordings higher in quality than corresponding analog versions. Participants gave significantly higher ratings to the digital presentations in bass, treble, and overall quality, as well as separation of the instruments and voices. So what is this intangible, better experience that the vinyl supporters love? Well, it's about an experience, not about metrics or tabulated results. More senses are involved. The smell of the album cover, the touch of lowering the tone arm into the groove, the sight of the stroboscope indicating the precise turntable speed. It's an immersive experience to which the listener must dedicate focused attention and time. Vinyl records are a hands-on, personal connection to the musician, and that's something no amount of digital perfection can replicate. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you. Please visit infactvideo.com. <laughs>